Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to Brick Rigs, as you can tell from this rather flat land. Um, and as you might be able to tell by the music, we've got another Mario Kart um, item. And if you're wondering why this is getting its own video, um, well, because it's not like the other Mario Karts. It, it's kind of a, a whole lot more. Some people may recognise what this is right from the get-go, or maybe from the music. Um, this is Mario, this is Luigi Circuit, um, from the GameCube, um, in all of its glory. Um, there's some slight holes here from where the uh, whole track, you know, comes together. But apart from that, um, it's a slightly thinned down version, but it's Luigi Circuit from the GameCube. And as you can see, I have got the Mark 8 here because I've happened to have put Luigi's name tag on it um, and yeah I'm just gonna sort of like show you over so it's sort of a combination of the GameCube and the DS's where you've got the boost right here to, to drop down and then after that you sort of go straight up over um, and then you've got the whole you know you can go up on the sides here where you'd have boosts uh, as I, as I break my cart because I haven't put invincibility on. Um, so yeah, you can either go up here or you can um, continue along down the straightaway. Um, if you're wondering how I've done all this, it's because this is... Um, eh, there you go. Not quite. Let's do that and then do that again and then put ourselves back on the road. And for some reason it doesn't quite work again. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I think it's to do with how my cart was broken, um, I do have to admit. So yeah, see, where those two wheels popped off, it, it's not working anymore. Um, so instead let's get a different cart, shall we? Ooh, as I get rid of this one. So yeah, it's pretty much the same um, as the... No, don't want to remove abandoned vehicles. So it's pretty much the same as the... Um, was it? Rainbow Road and, you know, Block Fort. But more Rainbow Road because you have to unfold it as you saw where the joins are. So let's go Poltergust because that's a DS Luigi card. Um, so let's... There you go. See? Now its wheels aren't sinking into the ground. Um, so yeah. Here we go. DS Luigi card on, on a on a cart, on a track that was in DS, perfect. So yeah, as I was saying, you can go up the hills, here we go, onto the track where I think there's like item boxes up here, I'm not too sure though, don't quote me on that. Um, and then you'd have boost pads, which I haven't added on here because boost pads were far too annoying to try to get with a low brick count on here. Uh, and then you, you know, you, you drop off, you, you take the boost, you drop down, and then you go up the other side, and you do that three times, and you win. That, that's, that is Luigi Circuit on the GameCube. It wasn't a particularly revolutionary track, but hey, it's revolutionary as in you go around a whole load. So here we go, drop down. Um, and yeah, and as you can see, there is the gap in the center, where if I come around here, squealing tires as I go over the boosts, as we can see, you can cross over, so you can hit people on the other side of the track, like you could in DS and possibly GameCube, um, before you come back up the ramp again. It's not quite as smooth of a ramp as it is in the real Mario Kart game. Don't worry about those holes there, that was just because it wasn't working properly, uh, which I have now fixed, as you can see. Um, and yeah, there's not really too much to say about this. Um, it, it's a circuit track. What, what more? can you say? Um, it's pro I think it's like Mushroom Cup or something, it, it's not like Star Cup or Lightning Cup, so it's not It's not like it, it's meant to be a particularly hard or revolutionary track, but it's a nice enough track nonetheless. Uh, I wanted to do another track and I was thinking what could be easy to do within the physics engine of Brick Riggs because as we all know Brick Riggs doesn't like particularly big or particularly brick heavy builds, so um, this was a fairly easy one to do in terms of bricks because all of these are scalable which is why my cart was falling through the floor when I destroyed the wheels on it that first time. Um, 
because yeah this is all all scalable bricks to keep the uh, brick count down as you can see here's how I built it um, these are these slopes are literally just triangles with 10 wide so that you can fit a cart up here and then there's things to stop you going off the edge um, you've got the start finish line with the boost ramp off to go down the other end you've got the you know usual block to stop you from cutting off the track so you can't you know do a quick loop around through you know this gra this sand for example sand on both ends because that's how it was um, and yeah it's it's not particularly revolutionary like I say um, and it's not a hundred percent exact um, because you know if it was a hundred percent exact then these crossover bits uh, or rather not crossover bits as my car gets stuck but these bits here to get up to the ramp wouldn't just cut you off you would actually be able to go up the ramp but it's brick bricks it's difficult trying to get it so that the cart would still work after going up the <laughs> after going up the slope and this is the best I could do but hey I hope hopefully it'll do well you know I mean the Rainbow Road's got a couple of hundred downloads you know it's something to use my Mario Karts on because as of right now I'm the only person doing Mario Kart things on the workshop which I think I've cornered the market on which is good <laughs> um, but yeah so there you go um, Luigi Circuit because everyone knows Luigi is superior to Mario um, and yeah cart not included and here it is big aerial view of it so yes I will uh, thank you all for watching and goodbye <laughs>